Here's a really important concept that I learned many years ago at O'Reilly that shaped our thinking about ourselves as a platform uh, for all of the people involved in our community. And that is that a business model is the way that all the parts of a business work together to create competitive advantage and customer value. There's sort of a mistake that a lot of people make when they look at, say, an app like Uber or Lyft. Taxi companies, for example, say, well, we love that app. You know, if only we had an app, we could compete with these guys. But in fact, the thing that they hate about Uber and Lyft, which is that they have these unlicensed drivers who come into the market, are part of the secret of the business model. Because demand, as demand scales, so does supply. Whereas in the old business model, you had only a set number of people who were there available. So at busy times, there's just not enough cabs to go around. So you can see how those pieces go together. And the reason why I bring that up is it's really important as you think about business models and technology that you don't just replicate the old, what was there. You know, we actually had connected taxi cabs in 2005. And what they did was they said, wow, we're digital. We're cool. We'll do what all the internet people are doing. We'll put a screen running ads in the back of the cab. That wasn't really searching out the possibilities of the future. And we have to realize that so many of our first halting attempts to deal with new technologies like AI are going to look like that screen in the back of the taxi cab. They're going to be some way of pasting on the old model onto something new. And we have to seek out the new. So and a key part, again, this lesson from Uber and Lyft, is of the augmented worker. The reason why you have that supply of drivers is because you have Google Maps and the equivalent. You have the ability to cognitively in, uh, augment these drivers in the same way that the machines of the Industrial Revolution gave us much bigger muscles so that we could erect these giant buildings, that we could dig tunnels under the sea, uh, that we could fly through the air. These new cognitive augmentations let us do new tasks. Find a passenger in the haystack of the city, a needle just lost among all the hay, but yes, match him up in real time. That's an augmentation of our capability. I think Joanna said it beautifully earlier when she said, uh, you know, this is just the culmination of 12,000 years of artificial intelligence that we're heading into. Cognitive augmentation is a key part of the future of our economy, and we have to get good at it. But think about throwing away the narrative that we're using technology to automate away people, get rid of them, instead figure out how we're going to use technology to augment them.